Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our monthly Angel Scope for the sign of Aries for May 2021. So before we begin, let's just take a moment to take a deep breath and really tune in with the energy for the month of May. And just breathe and relax. Really breathe into your heart space. And what I'm really sensing very strongly, even before, just before beginning the video, I was experiencing a sense of, of really um, strong downloads. So I can almost feel the energetic shower as we're beginning. And so this gives a sense, um, my attention has been drawn to the uh, amethyst crystals that I was guided to place here. And just in reading uh, a little upon it, um, one of the major components, well, there's so many different things that it actually does, but one of the major things is purification, um, transmutation, and um, protection. In other words, it's just really coming back to my mind. So, it, it feels as though what's happening is that you are receiving higher downloads from a higher bandwidth of consciousness. And for the very first time, because this is a very new feeling to me, that in this month that we're opening up to a higher bandwidth of spiritual downloads and with this is coming a strong, uh, a stronger sense of clarity in the way that you might be able to perceive it in interacting with you in your own life. So you might begin to just have more clarity, especially around blockages. So this is one of the uh, key things that it also helps with is removing blocks in your way. So what you might begin to see the written word legato, which is sort of a smooth transitioning from one note to another, um, it's, that you're, you may begin to experience a smoother transition with less um, hiccups as you try to um, you know, take steps to move in a new direction, you might find that there are like hiccups that appear. But this is going, what they're indicating to me that there's going to be a smoother transition as you are purifying or this purging uh, energy is coming through and helping to remove the, remove blocks within you and around you. So the only thing you have to do is not resist. Now, I don't know why they just wrote the word college um, in notebooks. <laughs> um, <laughs> in the writing release, and I'm just going to say, because I did see the word Columbia. I don't know if it's about the university, but um, th this could be literal for someone um, and it could be general um, idea in this sense of maybe um, someone's beginning a new program or study or some kind of training. But it could also be symbolic in the sense of that this is going to, it's like you're going to be going through a training period where it'll feel like you're getting used to a whole new um, paradigm of new dynamics in your life 
new connections, new relationships, new understandings, new interactions. And so you might really want to um, be prepared, um, almost take note, as if to say, with the, with the notebook, as, in to, as to say, to take notice, to take notice of what's unfolding. And what's important about noticing when we're talking about a whole spiritual dynamic is not to try to manipulate. Once you notice, then try not to manipulate, meaning try not to recreate it without first imagining. And I don't know, time will just always escape here, but the best way I can explain this to you is in my voice instruction. My teacher um, had me to imagine first. It's the initial part of my training because there was so much that had been learned that were not good habits. And in order to really break through, to have the real breakthrough, we had to first imagine. And when imagining, it was with the mechanism, the voice mechanism, my mind, as it has been cultivated up to that point, and the way that the, my mind and my body were interacting. And it was the idea was to imagine, but to notice. And as I noticed, I could feel new connections that I had not been aware of because I was trying, trying to, I was in a way persisting, manipulating, not in a way that we say that word, it's not conscious that, we, that this is done, but it's just because we have a concept of how something should be done. And therefore, when we try to impose what we think it should be, we're actually manipulating because we're not noticing, which is to be aware of what that is and then allow the body to do that on its own accord without our interference. And it's sort of similar in what will be happening for you is that you will need to take notice and be aware of what is happening and try not to interfere with your normal habit of worrying and needing to know how things are going to be, needing to be in control of the outcome. You're going to participate in the creation. You're going to initiate the idea by having an intention that you wish to launch. And then you're gonna listen, then you're gonna notice, and then you're gonna notice how things are coming together as you're focused upon what you're noticing. And when you're engaged in the experience of developing it. And you're gonna allow those operations to come together and to make those connections right in front of you, right through you. And you're gonna let them be an intuitive paradigm in which it informs you of how you are to participate. But always never try, once you see that something's working, don't try to recreate it. Try to imagine and notice even deeper. Okay? So this is going to be an uh, important way for you to break those habits that have imposed your expectations and then not be really open to the opportunities that are there. All right. This was way too deep for me. So let's see what the, the cards are saying. And we'll start with the Archangel Oracle, which is on the left, which is a message from your Archangel and from the Major Arcana. And the card on the right is a message from your guardian angel, which is from the minor arcana. So the major arcana is going to tell us what the overall theme will, you'll be working with in this month and paradigm. Okay, so you have the wheel. And the wheel is Archangel Gabriel. And that's so incredible because Archangel Gabriel... Um, 
is that we're working with the, 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 the diamond of Archangel Gabriel in my meditation. So this is interesting. Um, his cosmic diamond. So this is all about what we're talking about. The wheel is uh, the, the astrological calendar, right? And it's that awareness. Here we have the tarot cards of, of the major arcana that have their associations each with that. Um, and the wheel is normally associated with the planet Jupiter. So we have cosmic abundance here, healing and well-being um, and prosperity. And Archangel Gabriel is the communicator, um, the archangel of purity and um, transmutation, so purification, the white flame, pure white energy. And um, what we're, the, the card is indicating for you in this month is a, a huge shift and the potential for you to really, um, to exceed your expectations in a way, to really invite a whole new level of fortune, which is happiness, joy, contentment, um, inspiration, and, and all of its many uh, manifestations. So the card says a fresh new start or the end of delays, sudden or unexpected progress, a very positive change in your life, travel or new vehicle. So there is definitely a, um, a transformation happening for you. Things that, so delays are over. Um, things are going to be moving in a new direction for you. And you just have to be open to it. Don't impose your expectations upon this. But really open your heart fully and completely and participate in this cosmic dance as though you're a part of an entire um, team of support and influence. Remember, you're not doing this by yourself. All right, let's take a look at the card and see the message from your guardian angel. And this happens to be the page of fire. So what your guardian angels are really telling you, Aries, is that you're going to be in your element this month, right? I mean, this is a sign, uh, a fire sign, which you are. This is also a card of new beginnings. You, you really have this, um, the wheel, which is sort of, 10, but it's one, right? Um, if you break it down to, so it's it's that one energy, which is the page, so it's like that new opportunity. So for you in this month, opportunities, and you have the opportunity to launch or initiate new opportunities. They're also right in front of me that there are opportunities that are coming that are financially feasible, okay? Because they wrote financial first, and then, then they wrote feasible, so um, there's writing here for you to really tap into your social network, all right? And I see the word constantly, um, you know, like constantly in the, so you're gonna really be engaging people, okay? Um, and the writing that you have, like a catalog of, I don't know if it's a catalog of, opportunities or catalog of skills and abilities and just, you know, you have a lot of resources in terms of your talents that are just really um, going to start to sort of just really shine and, and they may all of a sudden integrate in a way that will afford you, to help you to just sort of leap forward. Okay, so one of the, in my meditation, I saw Archangel Michael before I began when I was tuning in for the entire month of May, and he wrote the fool. So what I, the, I think the energy, um, and he wrote the word rex, which is in Latin, word for king. So I feel like in this month, um, you're going to have this opportunity to really leap forward in your career. Um, and since this is a sign of Taurus, so that probably make a little sense in terms of, of uh, um you know, material or business or kind of things so that you might be able to leap forward and really um, 
really step into a role of power or empowerment, um, one of these ideas, okay? So I send you lots of love and angel blessings. And if you're looking for an angel reading with me, um, you can go to my webpage, theangelschool.com um, slash services page. Now, since the pandemic last year and even into this month, I've been offering my half hour reading for $77 for one full hour. So that's a special offer. You get that half hour reading for one full hour. So you can go to my channel um, within 24 hours. On the first business day, I will send you a confirmation email uh, noting that special offer. And in the letter is everything you need to set up the appointment. So it will be done through the email, all right? Don't worry about the little thing on my website. Um, and um, just be aware that to follow the instructions there um, because I um, give out the appointments in the order that I receive them. When I get the chance to sit down to meditate, I meditate with your angels to choose from the availability that you submit to me the best appointment time for us to have your reading. And I that part to me is sacred. Um, so just please... Um, comply with the instructions to set up your appointment. Um, this this benefits you, okay? And uh, there are no restrictions, um, you know, for this offer, okay? It's there and it's available for you to have and use in the way that will help you. All right, so Aries, this is really awesome and have a beautiful month and enjoy the... The, the energy that's coming to you, just know that, you know, all oh, this is a positive reading that our ego reacts, okay? So it's important for you to really focus on your creativity. Um, this is an opportunity for you to conceive new ideas. To the right word conception, that may be um, a conception <laughs> in terms of someone who's trying to get pregnant. If you are, this would... They may be giving that message to you. Um, I can't say who it is, but that this is the opportunity for you to conceive. All right. So God bless you. You can see there's a lot of messages coming in. So just be open and listen. Okay.